Hey there, survivors. This is Kane, coming to you with a different tutorial from normal. Um, some of you have been asking me how to install mods on Daisy. Now, there is a whole separate process going through this to make them work properly, and I'm going to show you here how to do that. First step is going to be going down to your Steam and opening up your library. Once you pop up your library, it's going to pull up your list of games here. And it might be in a different layout, but what you want to do is navigate over to Daisy here. Right click on this bad boy and click Run Daisy Launcher. Now, my Daisy Launcher is going to boot up. I've got a bunch of different mods already loaded on it. We're going to pretend I don't. And as you can see here, these are all of my mods for my Daisy server. But if you do not have any mods, what you're going to do to get these is go to the Steam Workshop. Steam Workshop is going to pull up a bunch of different ones, and if you are running on a server, the chances are they already have a group guide, a nice grouping of those together. But here, let's let's take one I don't already have installed, Chinaris Islands. Don't have this installed, so what we're going to do is we're just going to click on it. It takes us to Chinaris Islands, and here you're going to see there's a subscribe button. Just click on that subscribe button. You're going to require builder items for this. Now, with something like this, this item requires all of the following other items in order to function properly. You need builder items. You can click on each one here to learn more and subscribe to them before proceeding. So, we're going to click on builder items as well. Pops up this weird small window here. I'm going to subscribe to that. Boom, subscribed. See that check mark? It means we're subscribed. Close that. Builder items. Continue. Subscribe. So we're double subscribed to Chinaris Islands and builder items. Now, if we close down our Steam, we're going to see over here, we have them loading in. Those guys are going to load up and appear on our list. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get Builder Items. Just check that. That's it. You see it transported itself up there. This is the available mods, and these are the loaded mods. You're also going to get Chinaris Islands, and boom, that'll go in. If you try and take Builder Items out, it will tell you it's dependent you need this one so that's just a quick way to do that now these are all of the mods loaded for my server so if you're trying to get on my server KPSS Kane's proper survival server all you're gonna have to do is get those installed click play and once it ends up booting Daisy you're gonna see we are able to connect to just that server any server that's running the exact same exact same down to a T mods those will be able to join. But if it is a different server, say Daisy Underground, you're going to need Daisy Underground, the Doug package, in order to get into that server. Alright, survivors, and this is us loaded in now. We have loaded in the game. We're going to connect to my server just to make sure it works. Now, if we go over to the community tabs, that's just my server, but I'm going to show you. If we look at every server here, you can see these little wrenches right here. This one, let's try and connect to this guy. Play. And immediately kicked off the game. Client contains PBO, which is not part of the server data. It's saying that bleed trail is not part of the server data, but a, no, a lot of other things are also not part of the server data. If you're getting a PBO error, it means you have an issue with what mods you have installed or the server has the wrong mods configured. Back and forth, there's two different sides to that spectrum. Now, if we go in and we search for specifically KPSS, Kane's proper survival server, we're going to get one server and we're going to connect to this guy. And here we go with the three, two, one. Small little loading bar that we got going on here. Just like that, boys, we are in it to win it and have loaded into the server. And as you can see here, we have things like the Ruble note, which is added in the Traders mod. And this guy here should prove that we're in, if not these stylish outfit that you would never see. You should definitely appreciate that. That is just another thing I've added on KPSS, but this proves we have entered the server and we have the mods added in. Happy 4th of July to you guys out there, and I hope to see you on the next one. Again, shout out to Topher Nova, only Patreon supporter. 
but the real MVP. Thank you very much. You are supporting this terrible, crippling YouTube habit I have. And I hope to see all of you survivors on the next one. Keep on surviving out there, survivors. And I hope to see you.